Okay. We got Zan versus Zenyu. I'm gonna be critiquing from Zan side. Uh, we're gonna be watching some patient games because these these games are very long. Not too bad, but they're pretty long. So Zan, I mean, them two just waiting each other out. What I noticed a lot when I was watching this set is Zenyu waits for cues. So he waits for Zan to do certain things that he notices Zan always does and kind of punishes him. He gets a lot of punishes off of that. I'll try to point some out. In neutral, I just see that Zenyu is waiting for Zan to do certain things. Seems like you guys play like you guys have had session long sessions with each other. Zenyu kind of knows when like right there. Like he just waited for you to do something kind of it's kind of panicky and in neutral and then he just went in like he's he seen you just there in his face like he knew it wasn't going to hit him he stood at a distance where it wouldn't hit him and then went and punished you for it you got free damage and the reason why that the reason why it got you punished is not per se for the re the option you did but it's how you did it. it you did it with no merit and no weight so it got you punished immediately because he's just waiting for you to do options like that it's nice I see a lot of times that you're not punishing Mario's landings. Like, you're not getting under Mario. You'll, like, run back and throw a boomerang and try to, like, cover the air or or throw items at him. But you can get under Mario even with your sword and up tilt him or just apply pressure just by being under him to see what he does. That's nice. Like, see right there? You gave him too much space. And you, ha you had him backed in the corner. You have the stage. So, like, you, you need to, like, play... I feel like you need to play with that mode. That's just me. Backing up from the ledge. I know Toon Link doesn't have a good grab, but I, f I still feel like you could play the ledge more. Like, when, like, not giving Mario so much... Like, not making it so easy for Mario to just get up off the ledge. With no pressure. But that could be all a part of your plan. Let's, who knows? Let's see. That getting under Mario is really important because Mario doesn't have too many ways of getting punished in general. So when he's moving correctly, so you have to get you have to fundamentally just break Mario down. Getting under your opponents is one of the most important things. That was nice. See, like right there, like you were under him, so it, like even right there too. Every time you get under him, it makes him do something. I think you could up tilt that nair before it hits you. Oh, like right there, you up smashed it. I think you could up tilt it too, if you time it right. It's, it's gonna be strict timing because nair has a, a good good amount of priority at the start of. That was a nice attempt. It's it, it seems very hard to punish um, Mario's nair when it's coming at you as Toon Link, but it's also another move that I feel like you could just up tilt if you do it right. So. I feel like sometimes you're going to have to turn around up tilt, like literally like gent gently like turn your character around and use the backside to up tilt Mario as he's nairing in because Zenyu does that a lot. He'll run at you and just nair and, and like I feel like he gets away with it way too much either and and let's just see let's just see because I see like let's see what you do to react to it sometimes. I've seen you do different things but I feel like he gets away with it way too much in, in your sets. And these are all my opinions. There could be things that I don't know or understand. So if you like watch this, just let me know what you think. That was cool, by the way. You were saved by the bell. Like right there, he waited for you. He waited for you to boomerang. Because he was just he's just waiting for you to throw out options as a he's waiting for you to throw out panic options. Like right there, you did it again. You just ran back and threw the boomerang. Cause you don't really know what to do. So what I would say, instead of like, instead of always like running back and trying to throw an item, you have to learn how to fight and attack, counter attack him. Because the items aren't going to always save you. That was nice. See how he's kind of like, I don't think in this, I don't think you want items that much 
in close combat when, when you're fighting Mario. You have you you really have to learn how how to use your your sword here in close combat. That was nice. Nice. Caught his. You have seen that coming from a while away. So. Playing the edge now. Ooh, these grabs. See what you do here. Mm. Nice attempt. Just, that was hard to get. That was hard to get. Away. It was nice by Zenny. Oh my goodness. Okay, Zenny trying to go too hard and you get the kill. So yeah, let's see how Zenyu, let's see how if he gets antsy or like what happens to him and stuff. He just waits, he's waiting for me so much. You have to keep waiting with him. It's like, sometimes you'll just do something. I, I know the bomb's gonna explode too, so sometimes you have to throw it. Mm, that's hard, that sucks. Cause you have to throw the bomb sometimes. And if there's no opportunity, like if he leaves you no, gives you no opportunity to feel like you need to throw it, then you're like almost stuck. Nice, got under him, that is important. You need to do that the whole set. Right now, you're like, survival instincts are definitely kicking in. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, oh god. That was, what the heck? Zanstar. Mm, he baited you. Okay, let's skip over to game... I'm gonna, I'm gonna critique the game. So, like, two things I noticed is like, when you're pressured, you'll just jump. You'll, you'll like, short hop. Like, okay, so let's like, say you guys are in close combat, right? Let's, I'll try to point one out. I, I've noticed that you just short hop. Um, it's just a panic option. That was beautiful. Like, right there. You panicked, you panicked back, jump back air, but he didn't even, like, come in yet, and then he, he just got, like, he's got you at 69 now. Like, let's see if I can point it out again. Those neutral moments are too important. That was beautiful. Another panic option you like to do is when you feel pressured, you'll run back and just throw the, the boomerang. Like, immediately. You'll just run back and throw it. So, you'll walk back a little bit or run back, dash back, and then throw the, the boomerang. And it gets you punished. Like, right there, you just threw it. Can't land on top of Mario. I know that too well. Oof, that hurts. That hurts. Ooh. Playing neutral out. A lot. A lot of the times, like right there, when he neared in, if you stayed grounded and just in up tilted, or Respace yourself and grab him, pivot grab or something. You can catch that land. I guarantee you. It, it might take some practice, but I can I can assure you that you can do it. Like oh, like right there, you did it. See, you did it there. You were confident there, dude. Zan, you can do you can do these things. You just got you got to believe in yourself though. Every in every in all those moments. That was <laughs> that was crazy. Mmm, yummy. 
Wow, what the heck was this? See, but I like that. I like the attempts to at least call his landing because it's really important to apply, apply pressure and keep mixing up what you do as he's landing. But I see you skip out on a lot of the opportunities to do as you want. Because Mario is scary. If you mess up, like right there, you did the, the run back boomerang. Cause you know, Sometimes you gotta be ballsy. You just gotta hold your hold your own until he actually does something. Cause he's running at you. He's running at you to make you do something. He just wants to see what you're gonna do, and then he's gonna react accordingly. If if you do something that he's used to, cause his muscles are just trained to like punish you for the same things. Cause you guys seem it seems like he played a little bit. Or like you guys play friendly. That was nice, oh my goodness. That, that's exactly what I'm talking about right here. Seems like on your last stock, or when you're about to die, you start like, you start doing the things you actually like need to do. So, I feel like you, a lot of things I'm telling you, you kind of know, but when the pressure is on, you start to panic when you need to do these things until you're just like, all right, fuck this, like, I'm just gonna go in. You're just off edge, you're just like, whatever. That, see, like, that was crazy. Every, you still got to do things, but it didn't get hit. Oh my goodness. That was, I don't know if that was supposed to be there. Tight battle right here. See, there's the attempts. Oh, and that was close. That was hard. If you work on punishing those landings and those panic habits mid-game, you you can definitely do You can possibly beat this guy. You can possibly beat Zenyu. I'm sure if he watches this, he'll be able to notice some things that I can have too. So. Anything can happen, but I'm just trying to help. So If that if, if there's anything else that you could tell me about your playstyle, let me know. Alright, thank you, Zan.